thirsty by whom it is forever. Uma was a fucking sight for sore eyes. The moment you laid eyes on her, you couldn't look anywhere else. That's how Harry felt anyway. She always captured his gaze. The way her hips swayed as she took orders throughout the chip shop. The way her hair flowed as she walked. Her beautiful face and a bored but adorable expression. Harry had the best seat in the house if he could sit and admire her. He was happily doing exactly that until... Bro, why are you so thirsty? Jonas had leaned into Harry's ear to ask him semi-quietly. This took Harry's attention away from Uma, unfortunately. He turned to glare at his fellow crew member. I was just wondering the same thing. Desiree leaned in to his other ear as she smiled too big. You guys are acting like it's surprising. Bonnie rolled her eyes. I just feel bad. The poor boy is clearly dehydrated. Jonas chuckled. Nah, but you can never have too much to drink, right? Harry retorted back. Uh-huh! <laughs> Gonzo laughed at his friends. Do you know that it's unprofessional for a crew member to be sleeping with a captain? Desiree raised her eyebrows as she popped a fry in her mouth. Did you know that I actually don't give a single fuck? Harry said, raising his own eyebrows. Desiree just laughed along with some of the other friends. He's becoming hostile, Gil joked, ravenous I would say. Gil added, he just needs some chocolate is all, said Bonnie smirking. Well, a tall glass of water seems to be heading right this way, Jonas said. Harry looked up immediately. He wasn't surprised to see Uma coming over to see where they were all sitting. What's up over here? she asked as she got to them, promptly sitting at the table. Not much, Gil shrugged eating his food. Nah, not much. Harry was just telling us how thirsty he is. Desiree said. Uma eyed Harry, confused. He had been staring at her again, but he looked up to meet her gaze. You need something to drink? She questioned. He just needs some chocolate, actually, Bonnie repeated. Oh! <laughs> Catching on to the joke, Uma started laughing. Subtle is not a word in Harry's vocabulary, apparently, Jonas said. I did notice you were practically boring a hole through me with your eyes. Uma told Harry. And... Harry smirked back at her. And maybe you could stop being so horny, Gonzo suggested, interrupting Harry and Uma's intense eye -up contact that they were keeping. It's okay, Harry. We all know you're never gonna stop, so we'll just get used to it. Right, guys? Gil said... Now, originally, I thought that when he started doing this, but he's so intense he can't even try to ignore it, Desiree said in response to Gil. What do you mean, started? He's been doing this his whole life. Uma said. She flipped her hair over her shoulder as she added, He can't get enough of me, she said sarcastically. Yeah, we know, Bonnie said. I can't believe you're all just jealous that this beautiful queen chose me. You all know you can never pull someone so amazing, so you're all taking it out on me. Harry said with a bragging tone. Oh, God, you're not going to start reading poetry now, are you? Because that's how you sound, Jonas said. Harry rolled his eyes, shaking his head. He was completely amused by this entire situation. Oh, my dear queen, I would be just delighted if you killed me with your blade, as your beauty would be the last thing my eyes are grazed with. Some of the crew members broke into laughter. Uma's eyes widened. She tried desperately to hold back her laugh. Jonas? She warned. Jonas bowed his head slightly as an apology. My apologies, Captain, he said sincerely. She wasn't mad, but they all deeply respected Uma so they wouldn't tempt her if she gave them a warning. We're kidding, of course, Desiree said. 
We are now Harry Smitten. Dealing with it was part of the waiver we agreed to when we joined the crew. Gil said, Oh, ma! They suddenly heard. It was the cook. An order was ready. Uma sighed. Well, back to work it is. She got off the table, giving a salute to her crew. She ran her hand through Harry's hair and ruffled it slightly before she left. Harry's eyes following her, as they always did, because he simply couldn't get enough of this girl. He was down bad and everyone knew it. End of this little story. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that one. I just think that one's funny personally. It's cute, it's sweet, but it's kind of silly at the same time and I just love it. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified for whenever I upload a new video. Have a good day night or whenever time zone you're in. Bye my guys, gals and non-binary pals. I'll see you in another video. Take care.